Hello everyone, today I will show you how to create a procedural material and then paint it on the model. I'll start with the material. Let's add a UV node. Next, I add a vector scale node. There is no standard node, so I made it myself. Next is the vector fractal node. The same situation, I made it myself. As a result, when I change the scale, I increase the number of UV repetition. Next, I split the UV vector into components. To do this, I add separate XYZ node. I will add another ping pong node. This is a copy of Blender 3D node. I will add the UV Y value to it, math node add. I put the result in the Y channel of the combined node. As a result, we got this UV pattern. New node, length node, I made myself. Then I use the subtract node to move the center. Next I add an invert node to invert the color. Mix RGB node with burn blend mode. This way I can control the thickness. Now I want to add the tail. For this I use a bunch of node. Mapping node, wave texture node and mix RGB node for mixing the result with pattern. Mix mode soft light. I'm add a math multiply node for the x ui coordinate value. This is how I increase the number of repetition of x axis. Next, I want to add variety to my pattern. At the beginning, I will add a bunch of nodes, noise texture and mix RGB node with linear light blend mode. It creates large distortion. And once again, I use this bundle. It is neat for small distortion. The pattern is ready. I immediately create a normal map, bump node. Let's add some color. I want to create a color pattern. For this I use the following bundle of nodes. Node snap, node divide, mapping node and mix RGB, setting up a bundle. In the same way, I add variety of color to material, but instead of an image, I'm using noise texture. Mix the result. The only thing left to do is to assign the required maps to the required material channels.
Let's start painting the model. I divide the model intro section with different materials. I have created several materials based on procedural material. Difference in color and texture rotation. I assign the desired material to each part. Also, I switch the texture resolution to 8K. All materials are assigned, save the project and export the texture. I create a new project and load new texture. I also baked ambient occlusion map into a blender. Now I am colorize ambient occlusion map. The next step is the seam. I create a new layer and new dark brown material and I draw them on all the seam on the model. For this layer I switch the blending mode to multiply and turn off unnecessary channels. I also create a normal map using this layer and blended it with the normal map of the bus material. I'm add a new material, procedural scratches from my SkyFi gun tutorial. I blend this layer with the diffuse and roughness map.
another procedural mask from the Skyfi gun tutorial. I use it to add detail. I also create a normal map using this layer. And mix this layer with the height map in the main material. Another new layer and another procedure mask from the Skyfi gun tutorial. Using this material I paint light areas on the beer model with a brush. The final layer normal map to create a wrinkle effect. Well, that's all for today. Thank you all and take care of yourself.